Hello guys, uh, today we are going to just build up on the grasshopper definition that we did, which was one of Bernard Chemie's building. And we are going to learn about how to render definitions uh, in grasshopper. And that's really, uh, you know, a big deal because uh, you don't have to bake all the geometries and then assign materials. You can make changes with grasshopper and you can get a pretty decent result. I wouldn't use it for any sort of final presentation, but it's good for uh, like a quick visualization uh, just to test things out. Uh, I have heard of some firms who've actually presented rendered definitions to a client. Um, that is possible. I think if you're really running out of time, uh, you, can, you can do something of that nature and then maybe do a better one later on. So you can see as I move this definition over here, that I am able to uh, assign materials. Uh, you can see I've been able to assign the, the wood, the glass and the curtain wall, and even assign a background, which is an HDRI. And the good thing about this is that is that I can, I'm doing an interactive render mode, so it's sort of rendering as I move along. So if I wanted to change the uh, reduction of this, let me see what happens if I put 134. You can see that the change in the definition gets inputted. And you can see one of the, the rows got updated with that change. So it's, it's an interesting tool. Uh, it's, it's really great because, you know, a lot of times we're going to model the entire design uh, out of Grasshopper. It just, it just makes it easier to make the edits uh, as you're moving along to your design. So we're going to open up a file. The file is going to be in a Google Drive so you can go along with this lecture. And let's get to work. Okay, so we opened up the file. I've separated all the items. As you can see, all of these are just the grasshopper components, uh, such as the, the sun shaders and the concrete deck and the mullions. So I first step is when you're rendering is to gather the geometries and just group them as B-reps or use the geometry tab. And I also like to add a custom preview so I know what's what. So as you can see, this is the pink is the concrete slab, and I can obviously change it here. So maybe I'll make it red. So as we have all these elements separated, the best way to start is you can just, the easiest way is open up the V-Ray tab. And I do recommend getting V-Ray as a rendering engine. I started using the Rhino render, which is really horrendous. And then I moved on to Brazil, which is a Rhino product. And it was okay, but it really didn't take off. So they never made an extension. And then I, I learned V-Ray and it is definitely the best tool in terms of uh, productivity as well as uh, workflow and, uh, and also end result. So I'm going to start selecting my materials. And V-Ray, if you go into the material tab, which is right here, uh, so you can see I already have them laid out, but I'm going to delete them because we're going to start from scratch. So if I click on this left tab, I get a whole set of materials that I can use. And I'm going to select the materials uh, for this project. So let me think of the concrete decks. So we have all these concrete files. Uh, I'm going to just take simple concrete. And I'm going to use that. And I just, just drag in place. I'm taking the wood laminate. I'm going to, I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to choose this. This looks pretty good. Drag and drop. Uh, I need a glass element. So I see black glass. I'm going to drag this one out. I need something for the mullions. So I'm going to go to the metal tab. I'm going to pick the aluminum brushed. 
Okay, so I have the materials. So I can go to the V-Ray tab right here. Uh, actually, it is, where is it? No. Yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of grasshopper. Okay, so the V-Ray tab is here. So geometry, we need to first get a material tab. So I'm gonna take material from file. Nope, I'm gonna take material preset. Nope. Material from project because this has all the materials that I just selected. So the mullions, I'm gonna click on aluminum brush and geometry. So I have to take a VA geometry and input this geometry with the material. And then I need to get a render tab. So I take the V-Ray render. And you can see it has all these, uh, these components. And with the dots are the requirements to have the rendering. So you can see that we have a V-Geometry. So the geometry goes here. And let's just see what happens. I'm going to right click and you have two options. You have the option to render, but let's see what mode it's on. Set option. So the option it's set is interactive. That's when you can see when I'm rendering and you can move, move it all around. So let me just run it. Let's just see what happens. And then I'm going to bring it here. So you can see it's just rendering just uh, just the just the mullions. It's missing all the other components and and a light source. So we will put assign the rest of the material and show how to make this a complete uh, rendering. Okay, so I am going to just get the materials for the rest of this stuff. I'm just going to copy this, connect this to the glass. So then I get the glass coated black. I'm going to plug this into the V-Ray geometry. Sun shader, let me just copy and paste this. So the sun shader, we're, we're making it the wood. Laminate, plug that in. Now the concrete, the concrete deck. Let me plug this in, put the concrete. So V-Ray geometry. Now I need a light source. So, so since I need to use a light source, I need to input something into the light rig. So I'm gonna go back to my V-Ray tab and you see the lighting tab, and I want to put an HDRI uh, in this uh, rendering. So I do that. I'm going to go to params. So the texture goes in here. Let me set one existing file and as you can know you can you can you can grab an HDRI a free one online so let's go okay I'm just gonna go HDRI is free uh, I'm gonna just go this okay so this looks kind of interesting the meadow I'm gonna click on that and download this and Okay, so it says Meadow for EXER, so it's an HDR file, so I'm going to select one existing file. It automatically goes into my downloads, so let me see what happens when I do this. And obviously the mode, you can see there are two modes, interactive production. I want to run the interactive mode, so I'm going to right click and hit render. See it load up.
Okay, so you can see it getting sort of a wood, woodsy area. Uh, and you know, this is something you will need to play around with. Uh, you can you can um, see <clears throat> uh, some idea of materiality like we talked about. Uh, you can see the glass, it's reflecting the HDRI. That's what's really good about it. Uh, the same concepts that apply to regular rendering apply to uh, V-Ray rendering on Grasshopper. And as you can see, if I wanted to go uh, and change the, the spacing in here, uh, that is all obviously possible. Uh, so, so you can see uh, the possibilities that you can get uh, rendering uh, a V-Ray uh, Grasshopper definition. And uh, <clears throat> and and we'll we'll also get into uh, interior lighting in another video. Uh, I just wanted to to just sort of get you into uh, the typical uh, rendering prompts, uh, and this is also a very typical uh, rendering style, which is an exterior building. Uh, when you start rendering uh, interiors, it gets very tricky because uh, you're dealing with lighting. Uh, whether it's artificial or sunlight, how do you balance that, the exposures. So rendering exterior is basically a much more straightforward way. We'll get into other videos where I will use V-Ray to show you how to uh, render things. Uh, but this is a good starting point in terms of knowing how to do the basics of, uh, of a V-Ray rendering on Grasshopper.